Welcome to Unit 1, Lecture Video 3. There's no crash course video this time. In this lecture, it'll just be me talking. As you can see, the topic is about America's ideals. Before we begin, you should pause this lecture, go to Schoology, and post your answers to the three questions in the discussion area in the class page. If you don't have internet access, then write your answers on a separate sheet and turn them in on Wednesday, September, September 17th. Now let's look at some definitions. It's important to know the difference between an idea and an ideal. An idea can be anything you think about. For instance, I'm hungry, I think a hot pocket would be good. An ideal is something that you are trying to attain. For instance, a certain grade in a class. In other words, an ideal is a goal. These five ideals are important to the United States. Our government, economy, and society have been organized around them. The country provides a free education for every child in this country for 13 years. This is an example of equality because it's important to the government that every child is given the same chance of success. Not every country has these founding ideals. For instance, the freedom of speech is a right given to us. Some of you exercise it by ex expressing your opinions on Twitter. In a country that does not have this ideal, like China, Twitter can be blocked and you can get arrested if you say something that the government does not support. In fact, in 2010, a Chinese citizen was sentenced to one year in prison for a tweet he posted. So the question is, how do these ideals become part of our country? It comes from this old document which you analyzed on the first slide. These ideals come from it. The document is an early draft of the Declaration of Independence. Hopefully you see the revisions that were made and how they continued to work on it even after it had been written. This old document is a symbol for our country. We haven't always lived up to every ideal. Obviously, slavery is the opposite of liberty, and I'm sure you can think of other examples like Jim Crow segregation or Japanese internment during World War II. The point is that just as revisions were made on the first few drafts of the Declaration, revisions have been made in our country. The ideals are something that we try every day to accomplish. We are never done trying to achieve them. This slide is the preamble to the Declaration of Independence. As you can see, the ideals of our country are found in these first few sentences. Hopefully you've been working on your learning notes as you watch the video. To finish the learning notes, you will need to read Lesson 2, Sections 2 through 6 in your online textbook. Some of you may be wondering what the essential question is. You'll find out on Wednesday, September 17th. So if you want to have a guess at what it could be, email me, and if you are right, or close to being right, Extra credit will come your way. As always, if you have any questions, send me an email or find me before school. I'll probably be in the gym or in the classroom.